If there's any question what the Dodge Challenger is about, this clarifies things. I'm Tom Volk with Driven for the New York Times. Trying to behave, not entirely successful. My responsible side will tell you Dodge has extensively revised Challenger for 2015. The front is new, so is the tail. The cockpit gets a welcome change. It comes with a great sound system. The stereo is pretty nice too. This is not the 707 horsepower Hellcat version, which quite frankly terrifies me in an appealing sort of way. I'm pretty sure this one can still dust your neighbor's Corolla. The RT Scat Pack model gets a Hemi V8 that makes 485 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque. Mr. Super B happily touts the displacement. Got to admire Tesla, but you know what? It doesn't sound like that. An eight-speed automatic is new. The selector's operation is much improved. A six-speed manual is available. Power is channeled back here. If you haven't noticed, zero to 60 rushes up in about four and a half seconds. Taming this velocity are very effective Brembo calipers, which are standard on RT Scat Pack. There are apps and not just Pandora streaming music. Additional gauges can be called up. There's a G-meter too. Your own personal drag racing Christmas tree records reaction times. And then there's launch control. Follow the easy on-screen instructions for maximum forward velocity with minimum fuss and muss. This thing sounds like a symphony. You just want to blip the throttle all day long. Testing Challenger's power and cornering on public roads would mean jail time for me. It's very capable. The firm suspension is remarkably comfortable considering the performance mission. Challenger is a big car. It drives like a big car. I always wish it was about 7 eighths its size. The back pillar is as big as Texas. Good thing blind spot warning is available. Drinking premium fuel, Challenger isn't about saving money or the planet. I drove it hard. This is my average. You have been warned. The cabin is clearly improved. Not luxurious, but worlds better than Camaro. I like this little Easter egg. There are nods to the 70s, but Challenger isn't a slave to retro. In fact, the Uconnect interface is as modern and simple as they come. Grippy seats with decent bolstering are the next best thing to Velcro. They're heated and vented. The wheel gets heat too. If you carry a lot of passengers or use car seats, you might think long and hard about the four-door charger, though once in, there's a decent amount of room. Headroom's a little tight. Better than most coupes, though. My knees don't dig into the seat backs. Challenger has belts for three back here. Just make sure the middle passenger is small. I have established that Challenger can really haul, but how much can it haul? The trunk is large, but there are intrusions and undulations. It surprises me to find it scores a solid seven in the TP trunk test, so you can sell it to your spouse's practical. Yeah, <laughs> good luck with that. Maybe it would be best to focus on design. With its 1970s origins, there's a classic elegance to Challenger's menace. It's fashionable on the road and the racetrack. With an emphasis on the track. <laughs> 